Well, good day, folks. NB Wildman here again. Another quick tutorial here for you in the first set. <clears throat> I'm going to show you today the proper way to use a uh, wire stretcher to do up raccoons. I just finished flushing four raccoons today. And uh, if you want a little video on that, check out my other videos. I put one up a couple of weeks ago on flushing a raccoon. Um, I know that all the all the big time trappers out there, they tell you not to use wire stretchers for raccoon. They say you're supposed to put them all on wood. Well, I'm going to put up in excess of 200 raccoons this year, and I don't have time to nail each one to a wood board. Although, if you're going to put up just a few, wood does do a little better job. Um, I can tell you this. I'll tell you that my fur grade's pretty good, and my raccoons in the last sale, probably two-thirds were number one or better, and they were all done on wire stretchers, so I see no reason to, to change what I'm doing if it's working. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. Um, I use a number five, it's a raccoon stretcher. Uh, number five, I get them at Cabela's or you can get them at any trap and supply store. These are made by Duke, most of them now for wire stretchers. Uh, don't put anything else on wire except for raccoons and that's just, that's just my preference I guess. But uh, It's pretty simple to do. The raccoon here, he's all done. He's all ready to go on the board. I cut a nice inspection window in him, cut his legs off a little bit short and uh, he's all set to go. So basically all you're going to do to put them on a wire stretcher is to slide them down over the top and you want to make sure that put his nose in the middle of the top of the wire stretcher as such and you just draw them down, grab his two bottom legs, grab his two back legs, give him a little pull. The stretcher itself will give you enough tension outward to get the right shape for the raccoon. I hook both his back legs on one of these little clips, give a little pull down and that'll hold, just like that, okay, piece of cake. Take the front legs, tuck them in, doesn't have to be super perfect, you just want them out of the way. Make sure you cut them off short before you do that, you don't want the flesh sewn on the other side, okay, tuck them in, turn it over, grab the other hook hook the base of the tail, give another little pull, and you are done. It is that simple. And that's it. Piece of cake. I hang them up. Three or four days from now, depending on the temperature in your fur shed, they'll be dry. That simple. Want to see it again? It's like magic. Pull another stretcher. Again, these are all the same. Duke number five. This one's a little older. Pop your raccoon down over the top. Make sure his nose is in the middle. His legs are cut off short. Nice inspection window. Grab his two bottom legs. Give a little pull. One clip. Hooks this bottom leg. The other clip hooks this bottom leg. Pull. Done. Tuck the legs in. Done. Turn them over. The other hook. Base of the tail. Give a little pull. And you're done. Just like that. Two done in that length of time. Takes no time to put them on with wire stretchers does every bit as good a job. Sometimes I think it does better. All right, just another quick tip here from MD Wildman in the first shed. And uh, if you think this video helped you out, send us a comment, give us a like. Those wire stretchers are about uh, five, six bucks each. I got a dozen of them, and uh, you can put up raccoons in no time. So this is MD Wildman, signing off for another day. Subscribe to my channel for more great trapping, hunting, shooting videos, and we'll see you again.